Hello and welcome to another edition of the Mycorrhiz V Show, this time on video. Uh, I'm Michael Lehman, a technology evangelist for Mycorrhiz Vs at the Microsoft Corporation. I'm here with Bob Walsh, my co-host, who is the author of the Mycorrhiz V from Vision to Reality book and Clear Blogging. And you can find those at clearblogging.com and mymicrorhiz.com. And you can find me at projectglidepath.net. Today, uh, we're going both uh, way back and way forward. Um, we're here with Nick Hodges, who's the product manager for Delphi at CodeGear. And uh, as I'm sure you all know, uh, Delphi is based on Pascal. And I wrote a Pascal compiler back in the ancient days of 1978 and 79 called Pascal MT+. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, things migrated from that effort through Turbo Pascal into Delphi. And so we're here to talk about kind of Pascal in the 21st century and what's going on with uh, Delphi. Welcome, Nick. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Glad Ab to be here. Absolutely. So, uh, Code Gear, Borland, what happened? Where are we? Well, uh, I thought we were in Scotts Valley. <laughs> we are in Scotts Valley here in the Palatial Code Gear headquarters. Uh, uh, Code Gear is a uh, division of Borland. Mm -hmm. um, about a year, year and a half ago, uh, Borland realized that uh, the, the direction that they were heading with their uh, application lifecycle management tools and things like that and the direction that the developer tools group, which is what mm -hmm. CodeGear now is, uh, kind of was changing. The sales models were different, uh, instead of sort of direct sales with a mm -hmm. sales guy going in and making a deal for a larger company, mm -hmm. we're more of a direct sale, we're more of a channel sales, uh, direct sales through e-commerce kind of business. Mm -hmm. So the sales models were uh, were differing and starting to change and, and the directions of the companies were starting to change. So Boron decided to uh, uh, sell the developer tools group uh, out mm -hmm. as a separate company. And uh, that process started about a year ago last May, and I guess all last summer, I don't know all the details on it or anything like that, but uh, last summer a number of parties were interested, but uh, apparently a deal couldn't be struck. And as a result, uh, Code Gear was formed inside Borland as a separate company, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we are now a separate company uh, operating here in Scotts Valley as our own entity. We have mm -hmm. our own CEO, our own finances. Our finances are reported to Borland as a public company, mm -hmm. uh, but we have our own CEO. We do all of our own decision making here and uh, uh, market our own products, decide everything about our okay. own products. So uh, we're not a subsidiary, I gather. I'm told we're not a subsidiary, but we're a division of Borland operating as our own company. Okay. Well, I remember seeing a lot of really good micro ISV software. For instance, just to name one name, uh, Nick Bradbury, who created Feed Demon. Sure. If Feed mm -hmm. Demon is an, I guess, Delphi, I want to say Delphi 32. Delphi, Win32 Delphi, yeah. Right. I'm not sure which version of, Del right. version of Delphi he and is, but he there are, Delphi. there are hundreds of thousands of users of that product. Oh, sure. And Borland, now Code Gear has always been sort of one of the alternatives mm -hmm. to going with Colton, you know, the Microsoft stack or I guess now we'd also say the Google stack uh, <laughs> okay. of things. And I'm just kind of curious nowadays, what, what would you say to someone who's a micro ISV, who, who's got this hot idea, they're a developer, okay, mm -hmm. they're, let's just say for the sake of argument, they know, they either know the language or they, they, they know they can learn the language. What are the arguments that you'd say, hey, you should go to with CodeGear to develop your commercial micro ISV product? Well, probably the biggest uh, argument I'd say is that we are focused on continued have been and continue to be focused on native development. That you can have, uh, you can build a high performance, rapid application development type desktop application mm -hmm. for your ISV using native development so that uh, you're not dependent on any other run times okay. for distribution. That'd probably be the, one of the biggest okay, things. Okay, so you're not tied into the, you know, the, the big dot net right. runtime that has to mm -hmm. be in place or for anybody else's runtime, I guess. Sure, yeah, exactly. Um, we, we can build standalone, you know, Delphi will build a standalone executable. Okay. Uh, you can build against our runtime with packages if you want to. Okay. Uh, there's any number of ways that you can deploy our application, but it's all native based. And so it doesn't, re so it, it doesn't reply, doesn't, you can, the standalone executable mm -hmm. doesn't rely on any other okay. runtime libraries. Unless, of course, you create those dependencies and then you have to deliver those yourself, but. It does, it does support uh, .NET assemblies, though, right? It does. We have a version, uh, our, our BDS, Borland Developer Studio, mm -hmm. uh, 2006 supports .NET, but uh, at the 1.1 level, and we're working currently on our 2.0 okay. support. 
But the main reason I would say that the micro ISVs would want to take mm -hmm. a look at Delphi as a development yeah. platform is simply because uh, you get you know, the native development, which means ease of d distribution and okay. lack of dependencies on what may or may not be on your potential customer's machine. Right. Um, we have a huge community of uh, freeware, open source, and third party. Uh, how, how huge uh, is huge? I mean, t give me some idea of like, what you're talking there. Uh, well, I don't know. I, when I, I view it as huge. Uh, okay. uh, thousands and thousands of free components, uh -huh. uh, uh, open source, uh, two major open source projects I can think of are the Jedi. Uh, uh, VCL. That's probably something that's that the Delphi developers are aware of. Jedi. Jedi stands for Joint Endeavor of Delphi uh, in, in, in Innovators. Joint Endeavor of Delphi Innovators. Sorry. Okay. And uh, they've been a long sort of a, a community group that f uh, started out originally as a group that uh, converted header files to Pascal because that was okay. always a big problem. People wanted right. to access DLLs that had header right. files and then Pascal. They convert those to Pascal, but over the years they took on a couple other tasks. One of them was they became a uh, sort of a repository for uh, uh, third-party components in Delphi. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, the, like just the JVCL, the Jedi VCL mm -hmm. has over three, a collection of over 300 components, okay. ranging from just about anything you want, from GUI to database application to uh, so you know, lots of good code. There's lots of good parts. Yeah, and then they also have uh, a Jedi code library, which mm -hmm. is a uh, run, sort of a runtime library code mm -hmm. library kind of collection stuff. Mm -hmm. The other one is uh, there's like a former uh, Turboware, uh, uh, Turbo Power, for mm -hmm. a former big time third party component. They got out of the component business to go into the casino business, if you can believe that kind okay. of thing. Okay. Wow. One of those strange little business things that takes place. And they have a large repository of code uh, in the open source on SourceForge as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's a numerous websites that have uh, all kinds of mm -hmm. uh, 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 Third-party components, and then there's a number of the major vendors out there in the, in in our space. Right. Raise components, Developer Express, okay, um, uh, uh, slash end software, um, and I, uh, I can't think of the company. Wall to wall software. Okay. Number of companies that provide third-party support as well. And in addition, we're just kind of faint. We've always been real proud of our community members and mm -hmm. our news groups and uh, websites and blogs and things okay. like that that support the platform. Well, so. It, 